Today we are going to find out a very easy technique of how do I remember the trigonometric value of say sine 0, sine 30, sine 45, sine 60, sine 90 and similarly for the cosine value and the tan values. The easy way of doing it is something which we are going to see but the regular procedure is where you basically draw a equilateral triangle and you know that the angles in the equilateral triangle are 60 degrees and from one particular vertex you draw a perpendicular say that the two triangles are similar and then find out the various values. That's the way to prove it. Now in the examination hall rather than to go ahead and prove it there are times when you remember the tabular fall and then you say, okay, sine 30 is this, this, but you also get confused, which is very natural for all of us, right? So how do we do that while we are sitting in the exam hall and make sure that we are not confusing the various values? Very simple technique with just using your left hand because you're going to be using your right hand to write the answers or to do few further calculations. How do we do that? Very simple technique. Remember, the five fingers stand for certain angles. Let's say this stands for 0 degrees. That's I'm starting with my thumb. 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 and 90 degrees. So these are the different angles. So now when you have to calculate, for example, let's say for sine 30. Close the finger where you have said it is 30 degrees and start counting how many fingers are there on. Let's divide it into two portions. The thumb side and the other side. So we will talk about what is it on the thumb side, the number of fingers that we have. So here we have one finger, remember? And this side we have three other fingers. So we are not going to be confused about what is on the other side. We are only going to be worried about what is on the thumb side. So how many are there in the thumb side? One. And which finger did we close? We closed the finger that we represent 30 degrees. Okay. So very simple. I've got a tabular column which I've written it so that we're going to be calculating and writing all across. The only thing you need to remember is the number of fingers on the thumb side. And all that you have to do is you will put it under a square root sign. So you will have the square root of the number of fingers. Remember, I'm not going to write it as the thumb sign, but please remember that divided by two. So this is going to be our mantra in our exam hall to basically find out if we have got the values correct. We might have memorized, but then sometimes is it going to be 1 by root 2 or is it going to be root 3 by 2? We, we do have that kind of a confusion, right? So this is the only thing that you have to remember. And now as you fold, as I told you for 30 degrees, here on the thumb side, I have only one finger. So here it will be square root of 1 divided by 2. Now what is square root of 1 divided by 2? It's nothing but square root of 1 is square root of 1 into 1. So to take out 1 common outside. So it is nothing but 1 by 2. So I have sine 30 which is 1 by 2 with just using my fingers. Right. So next now let's go to see sine 60. So which finger was sine 60? 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 and I have 60. So close that particular finger. Very easy. Find out how many fingers are there on the thumb side. Remember the thumb side always. That's the rule, okay? So then you have one, two, three. So what was the rule that we said we will have to remember? Square root of number of fingers on the thumb side divided by two. So now when I close this, I have one, two, three. So it becomes square root of three divided by two. And what was it? It was sine 60 degrees. So you have square root of three divided by two. Very simple way of finding out. So never get confused. Now let's look at sine 45. 0, 30, 45. So close the 45 finger. How many fingers on the thumb side? We have two fingers on the thumb side. So it becomes square root of 2 divided by 2. The same formula which goes here, right? Here is a little bit of a trick. So I'm going to show you the calculation. So we said it is nothing but square root of 2 divided by 2. Because there were two fingers when we closed the 
center one which stands for the 45 degrees. So you have two fingers here. So the square root of 2 divided by 2. Now what is 2? 2 is nothing but square root of 2 into 2 or root 2 into root 2 is nothing but 2. So I'm going to split this and write it as square root of 2 divided by let's say root 2 into root 2. It's nothing but square root of 4 is 2. So I'm just writing splitting it and writing it here this way. And then you have one of the roots can be cancelled with the one in the numerator. So you will have square root of 2 in the numerator 1 and the square root of 2 in the denominator 1 get cancelled because they are common. And what you are left with is nothing but 1 by square root of 2 which is what is sine 45. 1 by square root of 2 and how did we do that? We did square root of 2 divided by 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2. Cancel the common factors and all that you are left behind is 1 by square root of 2. Which is what we have written here in our column. Which is nothing but sine 45 is 1 by root 2. Now what will we be left with? We are left with sine 90 and sine 0. So let's look at our fingers once again. 0, 30, 45, 60, 90. So close the 90 finger. How many fingers on the thumb side? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 fingers. So again come back. What is the formula that we have? Square root of number of fingers which is square root of 4. What is square root of 4? It's nothing but 2. So 2 divided by 2 is nothing but 1. So your sine 90 becomes 1. And now let's look at sine 0. So here you have the thumb fingers that stands for 0. Close the thumb finger. How many fingers on the thumb side? 0. So it becomes square root of 0 or just 0 divided by 2 is nothing but 0. So your sine 0 becomes 0. Sine 0 degrees is 0. You'll have sine 30 degrees which is 1 by Remember, you had this as one finger. So, square root of 1 is something but 1. 1 by 2. And then you have your sine 45, which is 1 by root 2. Sine 60 is root 3 by 2. And sine 90 is 1. Don't need to memorize. And even if you have memorized and you're a little puzzled on are you on the right track, all that you need to do is to start using your fingers. Now, that's not just it. Let the cos also goes the same way. Remember, once you have the value of sine and you have the value of cos, tan value will be nothing but sine divided by cos, which you can find it out easily. But let me give you the trick of finding out these two values. What about cos values? One thing you can always remember is sine 45 remains the same for cos. You swap the values, which is something which we have done it even when we use the tabular column. But let me explain it even using the fingers. All along, we said for the sine value, we would use the thumb side. Now, what we are going to be doing for the cos value is to be used the little finger side. Okay. So now let's start with cos 0. So you fold cos 0 here. But now you're going to not calculate how many fingers on the thumb side, but you're going to calculate how many fingers on the little finger side. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4. It's nothing but square root. The, the same formula holds good. Square root of number of fingers. But remember here for the cos, it is the little finger side. So square root of the number of fingers divided by 2. So it's nothing but as I told you, you folded it. Little finger side, you had 4 fingers. So square root of 4 is nothing but 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. So your cos 0 value is 1. Now let's look at cos 30. 0 degrees, 30 degrees, right? So now you close the finger. How many fingers on the little finger side? Remember you've closed this finger. How many fingers on the little finger side? 1, 2, and 3. So it's nothing but square root of 3 because our formula still holds good here is square root of number of fingers on the little finger side for the cos is square root of 3 divided by 2. That's fabulous. You can even make a check. Yes, you're actually the 1 comes this side and the square root of root of uh, uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 comes on this side. Now let's find out whether the other ones also hold good with our finger technique. Square root of Let's, let's see, we are talking about the cos 
45. So what do we do? We close. This is 0 degrees, 30 degrees. This is 45. So let me close. How many fingers on the little finger side? So I have 1 and I have 2. So these two fingers on the little finger side. So square root of 2 divided by 2. Now what is square root of 2 divided by 2? The same way what we did here is nothing but write 2 as root 2 into root 2. So one of the uh, square root of 2 gets cancelled from the numerator and denominator because it is in common and all that you are left behind is 1 by root 2. Let's look at 60 degrees, cos 60. So 0, 30, 45, 60. So close the 60 finger. How many fingers on the Little finger side is just 1 here you have. So square root of 1 divided by 2. Remember square root of 1 is nothing but square root of 1 into 1. Take out 1 common. It's the same. So it is just 1 by 2 which is half. And similarly we are talking about cos 90. This is cos 90. Fold it. How many fingers on the little finger side? 0. So 0 divided by 2 is nothing but 0. So you have all your values which are nothing but 0 here for sine 0 but cos 0 what we did was 1. Similarly, the other values have been got. Isn't that extremely simple? While you're sitting in the exam hall and you're worried, am I going wrong somewhere? Just a little bit of a trick using your finger. So all that your, your, your examiner will be wondering, what is it that you're doing in your finger? Have you written something there? But it's just a simple trick for you to make sure that the answers that you have derived or rather got is reconfirmed and said that yes, you're on the right track and get your answers as fast as possible. So try this out and as I told you, the tan value will be nothing but sine divided by cos. So you can take each one of them, divide it and get the answer. So there are a lot of options available for you, but rather than memorize them, try this out and do make sure that you write in the comment section on how you found this trick. Thank you so much.